Okay, so moving on to three phase. So when we come to a three phase installation, again, it's always good practice. Let's take a photograph, see what we've got, just in case we do have any uh, mistakes, we've got a reference point. As you can see on this installation, we've got everything's marked up. We've got L1 in, L1, L1 out, L2 in, L2 and L2 out, L3 in, L3 and L3 out, and then we've got our neutrals. And on here we should have two ends on the outgoing side as well. Before we start on a three phase installation, we need to make sure that we check that the motor is spinning in the right direction. So we would always do what we call a flick test. So that's go to the customer's motor or a lift and make sure that when we turn the motor on, it's going in the correct direction. Same with a lift or a hoist, that when we turn the, press the button to go up, the lift or the hoist is going to go up. So we've confirmed what direction the motors and the lifts are going and this is when we can start to do our uh, checks. So we would check at the cutout, so we would take all the fuses out, check the phase rotation at the cutout, so we would like to see L1, L2, L3 or the correct phase rotation within the cutout. With the fuses back in, we would then check the terminals at the meter and check what phase rotation we've got at the meter. Again, if we've got correct phase rotation at the cutout, we would expect to find correct phase rotation at the meter. We've also confirmed that we've got correct phase rotation with a motor with a customer's property. If we come to our test and we check that the cutout and we find that the cutout is a reverse rotation or a non-standard rotation, we would check at the meter. If the meter is non-standard but the motor is going correct, that indicates that the electrician has done some cross over at the switch gear to make sure that the motor is spinning in the right direction. If we come across this where it's incorrect rotation at the cutout, incorrect at the meter, we have to make sure that the correct phase rotation is at the meter when we've finished. So how do we do this? What we can do is we can change any two pairs. We make sure, so before we remove this meter, we would keep those pairs together, maybe worth using a cable tie or some tape, holding them together, making sure that we keep the L3s together. And when we replace our meter, we swap the L3s and put those into the L2 terminals and the L2s into the L3s. If we follow the cable through, it still keeps the line through from L2 to L2. All we've done is we've moved it from those two ports to those two ports and the L3s we've moved from there to L2. So that will not have any uh, detriment to the customer's motor, that will still spin in the right direction. We have to make sure that the phase rotation is correct at the meter because that can affect billing. So whatever the phase rotation is at the cutout, we can leave that. The DNO is not going to come out and change the phase rotation there. As long as we've got the correct phase rotation at the meter, and when we're finished, we go back to the customer's motor or lifts and check that it is going in the same direction as when we started.